Hi everyone, this is Christine Olson. I'm your tech support for Arts Day 2021. And I'm here today to talk to you about the networking options that our Arts Day platform has. One of the reasons that we chose the platform that we did is because it does have a lot of great networking options that we hope will help it make it feel more like a real Arts Day. The first thing I'm gonna call your attention to here in the lobby is the public lobby chat, which is over here on the right side of your screen. Here you can see on the top here, how many attendees are online. You can also see the chats that people have typed in. Here you'll see that Nate has typed in a welcome to Arts Day chat. If you click this here, this icon with the little people on it, you can see all the people that are in the lobby right now. I'm having Nate and Andy help me with this video. If you'd like to send a message, down here at the bottom of the screen is a little box where you can type your message and it will appear here in the public lobby chat. As more messages appear, there will be a scrolling feature on the side. Now we're gonna go into the networking section. And you'll see that the networking section has two sides, people and groups. Right here's a list of people. Right now, all there are is the Arts North Carolina staff and the speakers that we're going to have. But when this conference starts, everyone who's registered for the conference will be listed here. You can filter people here by people that are online now, or we will have other tags here. Right now, the only tag we have is speakers. But let's click the online now feature, and you can see that it's just me and Nate and Andy. So I'm gonna send Nate a little message here. You can see his profile has his website and his LinkedIn. There's another video that will show you how to do that, how to edit your profile. He's got a little bio here. And then this large button, start chat. So we're gonna click that. And up pops a window that says that I can send a message to Nate. So we're gonna go, hi, Nate. And we're gonna start the chat. Now this little private chat window will pop up. And you'll see that I just typed Nate. Hi, Christine. And so we're gonna start a video call. Um, you can keep chatting like this, or you can start a video call, and that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna join the video call. Just press that join the meeting button. And there's Nate. Now your camera is not on when you first start this. So you have to go over here and click the camera. This is very similar to Zoom. Hi, Nate, how are you doing? Wonderful. And see this little menu here lists that the two of us are in this uh, meeting and we can click this little X here and it collapsed that so that we have more space for the video chat. The next feature that I'd like to show you with Nate's help is what all of our networking groups that we have in our networking group section. So Nate, hey, let's join up in group number one. Great. I'm gonna click this little X here to end the video chat and we're gonna go on over to groups. You'll see that we have a lot of groups listed here. We came up with some topics like arts educators, development professionals, emerging arts leaders, executive directors. You can go on, a, um, we have some topics, presenters, students, visual arts, performing arts. But we also have quite a few of these open group groups that don't necessarily have a topic or a theme, but that anyone can go into to um, talk to each other. So let's go into group one. And we're gonna join the live group video call. and join meeting. And once again, my camera is off, so I'm gonna to have to click here to turn the camera on. Great, hi, Nate. Hey, Christy. So if there were more people than just me and Nate in this meeting, in this group, we would have a number of tiles of pictures, very similar to Zoom here on this screen. You can see over here, our two icons are here showing that we're in this room. So if someone came along and said, hey, there's Nate and Christine, I'd like to talk to them. They could join this room as well. So they're open rooms, anyone can join. 
And we hope that you make use of these because we're really hoping that this kind of helps to bring the networking experience that you usually have to Arts Day for everyone. Thanks, Nate, for helping me show how to, people how to do this. Bye. Thanks. Now what we're gonna do to get out of the chat, is if you click anywhere else in the system, you'll be able to leave the room. We're going to the lobby right now. And now that we're back in the lobby, I have a few little things to tell you about networking. One of them is we want to make sure that you don't do the video chat while you're in a session. You can instigate these video chats from the side thing, but we really ask you not to do that because what it does is it will the video chat will keep going and the session will keep going. And that will be very difficult for anybody who's trying to have a video chat to still hear the session in the background. We're asking everyone if you want to go and talk to somebody via video, either through a networking group or through a personal chat to go to the networking section. And now we'd really like to thank our sponsors who are showing up here on the video and tell them how much we really appreciate their support, not just for Arts Day, but for all year round. So we look forward to everyone showing up to Arts Day and we hope that you enjoy the networking experience. Thank you.